Hello, today I will be informing and showing you some different types of gearing used with the VEX robotic system. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any following questions after this video, leave them in the comments below. Okay, for my first example, I have a gearing test bed to show you the four basic types of gearing. The first example is a high strength gear. It has multiple advantages over the standard gears. First, it is wider for a better mesh and strength. Second, it has a metal core for those high torque situations rather than a standard gear that has a plastic core. Alright, now for the standard gear advantages. First, the standard gears have more sizing options rather than the high strength gears. And second is they can fit in them smaller places. Now into the sprocket. The sprockets look different and work different from gears, but they both achieve the same mission. The main difference is they use a chain to connect each other rather than the teeth of the gears. One advantage of this is that you can have two sprockets far apart rather than right beside each other. The last option is direct drive setup. Direct drive is not really a gearing option because of the fact that there is no gears at all. You would use direct drive if you were happy with the speed and the torque of the motors. The advantage of direct drive setup is that it is simple and easy to maintain. Okay, now onto my second model. It has an example of gearing up and gearing down. The first example is gearing down because it has a small gear turning a larger gear. The first gear is the drive gear and the other is the driven gear. The first gear is the drive gear because it is mounted on the axle that is connected to the motor as you can see from behind. The second gear is the driven gear because it is driven by the drive gear. So basically the gear that is connected to the motor is the drive gear and the other is the driven gear. Also, when the gears move, you can see that the rotation of the two is reversed. But the real question is, why would you need to gear down? The main reason of gearing down is so that you can achieve more torque. One thing you have to keep in mind is when gearing down, you have a loss of speed, but a gain of torque. Now onto the gearing up example. This is a large gear turning a small gear. The way I know that this large gear is turning the small gear rather than the small gear turning the large gear is because the large gear is the drive gear. It is the drive gear because you can see that it's connected to the motor. Also, you can see that I use sprockets instead of standard gears. This is so you can see that when the sprockets are turned, the rotation of the two stay the same rather than the gearing down example that reverses the rotation. But then again, you have to ask yourself, why does one need to gear up? Well, it's simple. If you want to more speed, then you have to gear up. But you have to keep in mind that there will be a loss of torque. Okay, in this video, you were induced to four basic types of gears and informed about their advantages and disadvantages. Also, you were taught what gearing up and down was and what they were needed for. You were also able to identify the drive and the driven gears and why. This video should help you when you start doing simple gearing with VEX Robotics or in everyday life. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any following questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you and peace out.